No, but seriously, folks, even I could have done better than that. Jeez. Now, I stuck that stupid hinge on. Remember that hinge I made back in the first video we started out with? Um, well, it was working. It ripped itself off the, the, uh, this part here. This metal was just too thin and this thing going back and forth. It ripped itself off, so I re-welded it back. It seemed to work just fine, but I just, you know, there's, got to, there's a better way to do things, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to stick this bar stock in here. I'm going to hammer it in, and then we're going to make some kind of a hinge. I'm going to drill a hole in here. Maybe, there's a, something to hold my flaps on my dump truck. I'll just... I don't need it anymore. I'm just going to cut these off and make like a hinge or something. Um, something a little bit more robust. If I had it all over to do again, honestly, I think I'd make this out of a bar stock. About, you know, an inch wide or so. Quarter inch thick. At least. And then weld these onto that. And then to make two more quarter inch pieces go side to side. Heck, I probably would have just normally just bought a piece like that, but... Well, you guys know, with all this coronavirus stuff, you can't do anything, you can't go anywhere. So I'm kind of just here at my own, you know, digging through my pile of junk, trying to find what I can use and what I can't use. But anyways, stick around. We're going to get this thing put together. I mean, we've been wanting to lengthen this thing anyways, or I have, you know, to change the geometry of it. You know, get this, get the hinge point down here further, you know. So, because where it's pushing, it's pushing on the center. And uh, when this hinge point was right here, you know, that only gave me a leverage of about that much. And we need a leverage of about like that. That would, that would do it. You know what I'm saying? Like the leverage points down here now. So, and maybe we'll still add the spring. I don't know. We'll get it figured out. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm still not real confident with my camera skills and what I can get away with or not when it comes to welding. I'm always scared of damaging my camera lens on my expensive camera. But uh, I'm going to do this off camera, but I'll show you the results. Okay, I'll weld it up. Looks pretty good. Had to clean it up though because uh, I don't weld that good. I weld, I don't know. Those welds don't look bad. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to put that far down as I can. I'll just cut that even right there. Ah, shoot. What am I going to do here? I'm going to go like this. Okay, we're going to weld that right there. Let's see how... Let's see how good this weld turns out, huh? Well, it's not drop dead gorgeous, but it uh, looks strong and it's still hot. Okay, now I have to now I have to weld these on to the main part here, and uh, I'll have a nice little hinge. That's way cleaner than what I had before. Um, wish this was down a little further though, but that certainly does give it a lot better leverage. There's almost no side to side movement. You know, actually, I can easily tighten that. No play at all. That's what we want. Find out the geometry is all different. This spring feels like it might be a little much. I took it off and it, I don't know. We're going to try it like this. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of show you what we did again all right so we got the field current here all right and it goes to this insulated copper and this insulated copper goes to the positive here and this just goes to the battery okay 
Let me get this stuff right there. This just goes straight to your batteries that you're charging. And of course the negative um, is just negative, all right? You can put it anywhere, anywhere on the metal. But, uh, yeah, I feel a lot better about that. Look, almost no slop. So that's gonna, that's gonna work out way better. Now, I'm gonna do some work on this blade right now. I need to get this thing, I feel like shortening it, okay? I wanna shorten this a couple inches on each side. I wanna retouch it, maybe put a finish on it again and uh, get her back up in the air. And uh, we're almost there. And oh, I almost forgot to mention, you know, the reason I'm doing that is I, I feel like I want a little bit more RPMs out of this thing. You know, I get the charging voltage, but it feels like it passes its uh, its peak efficient efficiency stage before it starts charging. And um, I still haven't got that a video of how much this thing's making, mainly because I just the wind has just been like non-existent lately, like a slight breeze right now. And like in the evenings, we get like these weird little gusts that just, you know, I charge for like two, three seconds. And then by the time I get there with the camera and my camera's on, it goes away <laughs> every time. I'm, it's a little frustrating. So I'm waiting for a windstorm and uh, I will get you guys some stats on this thing. One thing I can say right off the bat is, uh, uh, excuse me. One thing I can say right off the bat is, uh, that this thing is probably better suited for a 12 volt system. And remember, we used a 24 volt stator, and I think this thing would be ideal for 12 volt. Um, for 24, it works, okay? We're gonna shorten this, and I'm gonna try and speed this up a little bit and get a little bit more performance out of it. And remember, if we shorten the blade, we're gonna lose a little bit of power, but we're gonna gain in speed for not making power. I mean, what's the point, right? We gotta make power at all costs. So even if that, you know, even at the expense of a little bit top end power. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, stay tuned. We got a lot more coming and uh, I'll get this thing up in the air and we'll take one last clip and uh, for you guys to see it. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get some wind soon. Normally just put some like linseed oil on these things, but uh, can't seem to find it. I got some polyurethane. Probably have to redo it after a year. Well, it's starting to rain, so I better hurry this up. Anyways, we're gonna get this up in the air and. Uh, we're going to try and get some stats for you. It looks like a storm's blowing in, so i got to hurry up. But uh, hey, uh, be sure and subscribe because we're going to start doing a video next on my hybrid alternator once we get this uh, all tested out. And uh, that's coming up soon in the next few days, so stay tuned. Be sure and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks a lot.